hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with a discussion related to the key technologies that are important in the implementation of the concept of internet of things and so far we have discussed about uh, wireless sensor networks and uh, cloud computing in a short manner in a quick way so in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, technology which is uh, important in the implementation of iot which is big data okay so we know that for the implementation of uh, internet of things the important technologies are wireless sensor networks cloud computing uh, big data embedded systems and the internet it just uh, brings it all together so in this video we are going to discuss about big data so uh, before we uh, go into uh, this discussion related to big data uh, we all know that what data is you know uh, in simple words data means meaningful information information which can be used for a particular objective which is of use to us in accomplishing a task so anything that represents meaningful information about a phenomena about a particular event that is called as data now data can be of uh, various types okay the nature of data can be different it can be of mechanical optical chemical magnetic electrical physical whatever so for the implementation in iot okay internet of things we want that the, all the data which is out there which is of uh, use to us which is meaningful which is useful which can be put to use uh, for achieving an objective it must be in electrical form by electrical i mean in the form of voltage or current because only then further processing analysis can be done by related or associated electrical circuitry so data is uh, usually represented with the help of alphabets numbers uh, special characters symbols depending on what type of uh, what are the rules what is the uh, you know uh, what uh, particular language we are using what are the rules related to that language by which we are trying to communicate a particular message so also uh, another important requirement along with the electrical nature of data is that data is usually converted into digital format through uh, proper analog to digital conversion techniques because all the data out there is, it is always in analog form the natural form is analog but digital conversion simplifies the processing and analysis so this is all about data we all know but the part which is important to us in this discussion is the big big data data we all know but what is big data so big data refers to data which is of large size okay which is of large size and is very complex in nature basically we can assign three important characteristics three features to big data so if a particular data has these three features then it qualifies or it, it is big data okay so the three important characteristics of 
data to become big okay to qualify as big data are volume velocity and variety these are the three v's we can say the three v's of big data volume velocity and variety so what are the uh, you know how can uh, wh how much volume what is the velocity what what variety are we talking about okay so here when we when we say volume of big data it means the data is of enormous size okay so the size of data is an important factor in determining whether it falls in the category of big data or not for example when we uh, use a particular search engine on the in the in the, in the internet to search for a particular information about a particular event or anything we type in a keyword in the search bar we click on the search button and many results appear on our computer or mobile screen now that data which is generated in that you know within a fraction of a second within a fraction of a second the amount of data which is there which appears before us that is big data we cannot even uh, calculate how much bytes of data it is there okay so it's a huge amount similarly uh, let's say uh, this is search engine let's say the online applications the on popular online applications be it for uh, shopping or any other purpose which is out there it is used by millions billions of people throughout the world can you imagine how much how much amount of data is there in how much of data is generated per day or even per hour per minute in those uh, online applications because it is used by billions of people all their personal information is there all the information about the various kinds of products everything is there so that also qualifies as big data similarly uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, let's say the weather information the weather information at any given moment the temperature the pressure the humidity uh, all the things the world weather information which is there which is being recorded by sensors transducers it is being transmitted and all of that that is also it qualifies as big data because per second the amount of data that is generated it is of huge quantity we cannot measure it in terms of bytes we cannot say at any given moment that this much bytes of data is there because it is continuously changing and it is increasing okay so that is what i say when it uh, the volume of big data it is of huge huge size many 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 bytes of data okay next the next v of big data is velocity okay so here also it is somehow related to volume it refers to the rate at which data is uh, generated and consumed at within within a fixed period of time interval of time how much new data is entering the system and how much is getting consumed that is called as velocity okay so the rate of generation of data the rate of consumption of data the rate at which data is generated it is processed it is analyzed all comes into play okay so we know data in all of the above examples as i have said the search engine the internet the internet uh, the various websites uh, uh, applications that uh, you download from the internet that you use in your phone all in all those places new data is coming within a fraction of a second 
many many bytes of data new data is entering into the system and also it is getting consumed okay so it is generated processed analyzed and consumed within a fraction of a second and that size that that size of data is very very large so here the rate of uh, variation okay of data the rate of uh, you know uh, the rate of change of data that is very very large so this flow of data in and out of the system it is massive in size and continuous so it is also related in some way or the other with this volume aspect because only when the volume of data will be large the rate of change of data will also be large okay so velocity is the rate at which the new data is entering into the system it is getting processed it is getting analyzed and it is getting consumed and uh, that data flow in and out of the system is huge and is continuous next v is uh, variety now variety refers to the uh, heterogeneous nature of uh, data so there are different types of data which is available in the internet okay so it can be in the format of text it can be numbers it can be characters it can be alphabets it can be videos it can be audio it can be image okay so it can be in structured form or unstructured form or semi structured form for example structured and unstructured the difference the search results that appear when you type a particular keyword in the search engine and search it on the internet that is an example of unstructured data because uh, all type of data which is in some way related either directly or indirectly with the keyword which you have typed it appears on the screen not all the data which which appears on the screen in the search results are related to what you want okay so what the internet does what the internet algorithm whichever uh, search engine you are using depending on the algorithm it displays all the results which is related anyhow directly or indirectly with the keyword with the phrase or whatever sentence word whatever you have typed it appears on the screen it can be uh, related to it directly or indirectly but structured data is for example let's say an organization a big organization a multinational organization it uh, it it maintains its employee database so that is also huge that also qualifies as big data but it is in structured format for example where uh, the name the date of joining the uh, you know the salary scale uh, all the uh, the date of birth uh, all the educational qualification everything is maintained in that database in that particular profile employee profile different employees there are you now thousands of employees or maybe more than thousands of employees will be employed in that organization and it maintains all their personal information educational qualifications everything so that is also big data but that is in structured format and semi structured is a combination of structured and unstructured okay so this is the variety of data okay we are talking about so different types of data which is available that is also qualifies as big data so uh, as i was saying examples of big data uh, are as i said weather monitoring systems uh, social media platforms yes social media platforms different types of data we come across it can be in image format it can be in audio format it can be in video format different uh, billions of people use these social media platforms and the rate at which new data is entering into the system and it is getting consumed that is also huge variety is also qualified because of different types of data and the amount of data which is there totally that is also huge similarly online apps as i said search engines uh, stock exchanges all of these they generate huge quantities of data per day and uh, that is also huge and they the data which is generated it is heterogeneous in nature variety and it is very complex 
okay so this is uh, the concept of big data so the internet of things when we connect all the things which is out there with each other for the purpose of data sharing monitoring control whatever the amount of data that will be generated will be huge so it will be called as big data and will qualify these three characteristics it will have in terms of volume the size of data will be huge the rate of generation consumption processing analysis of data will also be huge and it will be of heterogeneous nature different types of data will be there okay so this is what we can uh, uh, discuss about big data in a simple way now again big data is a separate subject in itself it is very vast it is very deep so there is a lot of things associated with it so here i have just tried to explain it to you in a simple way so that we can carry our discussion forward related to internet of things so that when in future this term comes you know how to interpret it in a simple way okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much